As entertaining as 90 Day Fiancé is, it's important to remember that the stars on the head TLC show are real people. Critics have accused the show of being fake and staged. Granted, some 90 Day Fiancé moments were too ridiculous to ever be real, but there are also some very real moments on the show. Whatever the case may be, there's no denying that 90 Day Fiancé is a binge-able show and a guilty pleasure for most. Fans root for the brave men and women who decide to leave their lives in front of the cameras for a shot at love. But they always appreciate the couples who are seemingly fake it, they always bring the drama. Most of the couples that genuinely found love on 90 Day Fiancé got married, some of them had children and others are expecting. Matt Ryan and Ella Federuk Fans were introduced to Ella and Matt in the fourth season of 90 Day Fiancé. The pair met on a dating site and tied the knot in 2016. They were one of the couples featured on the show that fans were doubting but made it. The couple welcomed a baby girl in 2020, it's their first child together. It's Ella's second child, as she has a 12-year-old son named Max from a previous relationship. Brett Otto and Dea de Arce Like most 90 Day Fiancé couples, Brett and Dea met online. They were a fan favorite from the beginning and are among the most stable and drama-free couples on the show. Despite Brad's mother accusing Dea of being a gold digger and not supporting the relationship, the duo has been married for six years. Brad has a pretend daughter from his previous marriage and he and Dea also share a daughter together. The reality star gave birth to their daughter Isabella in 2017. Alexei and Lauren Bravarnik Lauren and Alexei were featured on the third season of 90 Day Fiancé. Their story was beautiful and fans were taken by them. The pair met in Israel and they fell in love. Lauren made a couple more trips back to Israel until Alexei could join her in the US. They had quite a number of hurdles to cross and they did. They tied the knot in 2015. Lauren and Alexei welcomed their son Shay Joseph Bravarnik in 2020. Amy and Danny Freshmuth There are couples who came to 90 Day Fiancé for the wrong reasons, but the show has proved that love can be found in the unlikeliest of places. Danny and Amy made it look easy on season 2 of the show. They met in Australia and were smitten with each other. Not everyone in Danny's family were supportive of the relationship because Amy is biracial. The pair worked through that and has been married for 7 years and are parents to 3 adorable kids. Ariella Weinberg and Biniam Shibre Ariella and Biniam were in season 2 of 90 Day Fiancé the other way. They met while Ariella was vacationing in Biniam's native country, Ethiopia. The lovebirds learned they were expecting and Ariella decided to move to Ethiopia before the baby was born. Ariella had a hard time adjusting to life in Ethiopia and questioned her decision to have their baby there. The pair welcomed their baby boy Aviel in 2019, who they are raising together. Elizabeth Pothast and Andrei Kastravet Elizabeth and Andrei brought some much-needed drama to the fifth season of 90 Day Fiancé. The pair met in Dublin where Andre was working at that time and fell in love. The lovebirds came under fire for expecting Elizabeth's father to finance them when Andre relocated to the US. From the get-go, 90 Day Fiancé viewers were critical of Andre's treatment of Elizabeth and her family butted heads with him. The pair, who won some viewers over, had two wedding ceremonies and welcomed their adorable daughter Eleanor in 2019. Ross and Paula Mayfield Paula and Ross are fan favorites of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise. Viewers were introduced to the pair on the first season of the show. Their love story earned them both fans and critics, who accused Paula of treating Ross poorly. Eight years later, the couple is still married and even has a son together. The Mayfields had previously revealed that they'd suffered a miscarriage earlier on. Kareen Martins and Paul Stale Kareen and Paul have made headlines for their marriage troubles, which have played out on TV. The couple was first featured on season 1 of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days. They met online and Paul later traveled to Brazil to meet Karine in person. It pretty much went downhill after that. The duo tied the knot despite their challenges and have since welcomed a son and have another child on the way. Curliam and Alan Cox It is safe to say that 90 Day Fiancé season 1 had the most successful relationships. Alan and Curliam are among the beloved cast of the first season. 
they met in Brazil years ago and were reunited later on. Ellen and Curly married in a Mormon temple and have stayed together ever since. The duo hopped on the baby train in 2017 when they welcomed a baby boy named Liam. Fans have kept up with the reality stars on Instagram where they share cute family pictures. Robert Springs and Annie Francisco Robert proposed to Annie within eight hours of meeting her in person. The pair first met online in 2019. After the proposal, Annie traveled from the Dominican Republic to join her fiancé in the US. Years met the lovebirds on season 7 of the hit TLC show. Robert was a father of one when he met Annie, and the two welcomed a daughter together in 2020, who they named Brenda Aliyah. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.